The men of wealthy Sestos every year, for his sake whom their goddess held so dear, rose-cheeked Adonis kept a solemn feast. Thither resorted many a wandering guest to meet their loves, such as had none at all, came lovers home from this great festival. For every street, like to a firmament, glistened with breathing stars, who, were they where they went, frightened the melancholy earth, which deemed eternal heaven to burn. For so it seemed, as if another Phaeton had got the guidance of the sun's rich chariot, but far above the loveliest hero shined, and stole away the enchantment, enchanted gazer's mind. For like sea nymphs in veiling harmony, so was her beauty to the standers by, nor that night wandering pale and wandering star, when yawning dragons draw their thirling car from Latonos Mount up to the gloomy sky, where crowned with blazing light and majesty, she proudly sits, Moreover, more overrules the flood than she the hearts of those that near her stood, even as with when gaudy nymphs pursue the chase, wretched Ixion's shaggy-footed race, incensed with savage heat, a galloped amain from steep-pined bearing mountains to the plain. So ran people forth to gaze upon her, and all that viewed her were enamored on her. And in fury of a dreadful fight, their fellows being slain or put to flight, poor soldiers stand with fear of death, dead, death stroken. So at her presence all, surprised and tooken, await the sentence of her scornful eyes. He whom she favors lives, the other dies. There might you see one sigh, another rage, and some their violent passions to assuage. Compiles sharp satires, but alas, too late, for faithful love will never turn to hate, and many seeing great princes were denied, pined as they went, and thinking on her, died. On this feast day, O oh, cursed day and hour, went Hero through Cestus from her tower to Venus's temple, where unhappily, after as after chanced, they did each other spy so fair a church as this had Venus none. The walls were of discolored jasper stone, wherein was Proteus carved, and overhead a lively vine of green sea agate spread, where by one hand by where by one hand light headed Bacchus hung and with the other wine from grapes outrung. Of crystal shining fair the pavement was, the town of Sestos called it Venus Glass. There might you see the gods in sundry shapes, committing heady riots, incest, rapes. For know that underneath this radiant floor was Danae's statue in a brazen tower, lovely, slyly stealing from his sister's bed to dally with the Adelian Gamamede. And for his love, Europa bellowing loud and tumbling with the rainbow in a cloud, blood quaffed Mars heaving iron net, which limping Vulcan with his cyclops set, love kindling fire to burn such town at towns as Troy, Sylvians weeping for the lovely boy that now is turned into a cypress tree, under whose shade the wood gods love to be. And in the midst a silver altar stood, he, there hero sac sacrificing turtle's blood, veiled to the ground, veiling her eyes close, and modestly, modestly they opened as she rose. Thence flew love's arrow with a golden head, and thus Leander was enamored. Stone st still he stood, and everyone, evermore he gazed, till with the fire that from his countenance blazed, relenting hero's gentle heart was struck. Such force and virtue hath an amor the am such force and virtue hath an amorous look.